Hello UB2B, what is up, Eroctic here. In today's video we are gonna talk about hope. Are you wondering how to reach maximum efficiency with this ship? Please, let me explain. So basically Hope is a light support corvette, that means that this ship is a healer. As you can see I unlocked a lot of modules, just because I had a real struggle to find the perfect synergy with my cannons and with my modules. In this video I wanna talk about every module, just because I wanna give you a clear picture what I'm doing with Hope. So basically after testing all these things, instant recovery and increased recovery, those two are your main heals. The second row are buffs and debuffs. Group maneuvers, they're gonna give movement speed for your team and movement speed decrease for enemy team. And this is a reinforcement, it is gonna give AoE buff for your team for 8 seconds for 25% damage reduction and on top of that durability is increasing if you have energy. So that means if you have 50 energy, that is 50% increase, that means 12 seconds of 25% damage reduction. This is the TP, but TP on your ally, you need to mark your ally to TP. And this is the primary barrier, your allies are getting barrier on top of the shield that they currently have. So that means they need to destroy your barrier first, then their shield, then their HP. And after min-maxing all of that, I came to conclusion. The way you need to build a hope, since you can have only 3 modules, you will have to pick two that are consuming energy and one that is not consuming energy. First, you need to pick one of those three. Do you wanna TP? Do you wanna buff with damage reduction? Or do you wanna give buff for movement speed and for movement decrease for your enemy? And after that you have to pick two energy spenders. And on the other two slots you will have to pick do you wanna have two heals or one heal and one buff. From my testing, primary barrier is not worth over heal over time and heal nuke. Instant recovery and increased recovery, those two are must have for hope. I'm going on risky play with my build, I'm going reinforcement over TP. Having a ship without teleport will bring him to the big disadvantage, but once you reach the spot, your hope is gonna be insane, like no one is gonna die around you. With these 3 skills I'm capable of healing one person when 4 guys are trying to destroy it, as long as they are not focusing you of course. And before we are going over cannons, I wanna explain to you what is energy. Basically you are filling up your energy with doing damage and doing heals. And energy is increasing no matter how much HP your ally has. That means if your ally is full with HP and shield, you can still spam your shots on him to fill in your energy. And I'm gonna give you a tip, right on the beginning of the match you're starting with 50 energy and you can spam your heals on your allies to increase your energy on 100 before first encounter. And every shot is increasing your energy by 4. Which is gonna bring us to our next topic, side cannons. I picked Hummingbird because it is the only side cannon that you can spam. If you're looking on the tooltip about this side cannon, it is gonna say that it has 2.9 shooting rate per second, that means almost 3 shots per second, that is spammy as hell, and time to overheat is 12 seconds. And if you're doing basic math, triput advanced, triput advanced. Well I'm recording with my f***ing cell phone so I cannot calculate it but it is gonna give you a lot of energy with this side cannon. So this side cannon is the best for recharging your energy and on top of that it is gonna restore your allies ship hull and shields. And my main cannon has a special ability, it is called spear. It is gonna give 50% damage reduction on your ally. That means if you are stacking main bow with your buff reinforcement, your ally that is taking damage is gonna get 75% damage reduction. In the process of learning hope, I learned that it is really important to focus and on allies and on enemy team. And I'm strong recommending you if your allies are full HP try to focus on your enemy team. So this is my build and this is how I'm building the hope. I'm going with reinforcement over the group maneuvers and the leap to ally. 
and if you are that kind of a person that cannot play without movement speed increase, I would recommend to you to use group maneuvers and if they start to focus you, even leap to an ally won't help you, so just ignore that skill. What do you guys think about my build? Do you like it or not? Tell me in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you already haven't. Thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one. Eroctic out.